Hey guys, this is going to be a different tutorial and I'm uh, not doing a screenshot video so uh, if you're using one of the Android boxes uh, or an Android tablet um, this is going to be just for Android operating devices only. Uh, you're going to need a mouse if you've not got a touch device to get this to work properly so I implore you to buy one of those if you want this to work more seemingly for you. However, let's get into it. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go to settings. Then go to your more settings if you're on the Android box. Once you're in your settings, go all the way and find about your device. And where this build number is down here, uh, you want to go and click it about 10 times until it comes up and says you're uh, now a developer. I've already done it. Once you've done that, just back out again. And the next thing to do is to go to the word security. This uh, tab here it says unknown sources. This is going to allow you to install privately made apps. Uh, these are ones that haven't been approved by Google. Or the developer just doesn't want to go through the Google Play Store for you to be able to download it. Um, so this needs to be ticked for us to do this. And once you've got that, uh, back out to your main screen. And what you're going to do is you're going to follow the link in the description down the bottom and download the app directly from Mediafire here. And you just want to hit this download button there. It's about just over 20 megabytes. And use whatever program you want to download it. And it will take about depending on your speed of your internet, uh, maybe about 20-30 seconds. It's not a very big file. Now if you want to download this from a computer first and put it on a thumb drive uh, and stick it into your device, I'll also show you how to install it from there uh, if you've downloaded it via this, then you won't need to access the thumb drive with it on. But anyway, let's show you how that all works. So, quit out of your browser on your device. And you're going to want to use a file browser. Now, you either have one preloaded by your manufacturer as a file browser, or you can download the ES File Explorer for free, it just has some adverts in it and a few less functions, or you can buy the pro version, not really necessary for what we're going to do. But if you're using a standard file browser, like so, if you download it onto a USB stick, then it's going to be named here as your USB device, and then you just need to locate where you saved it in a certain spot. If it's on the device itself that you've downloaded, then you should find it in your download file like so. Once you've located it, just click it twice, sometimes, sorry about that, just once on mine, and then go down to the install button. Let that install, that might take just a, uh, should be less than a minute. And because we've downloaded this, it won't appear on your home screens as a shortcut as if you had installed it via a dedicated Google Play Store. So once that's installed, we're just going to back right out of it here. And if you're on a standard Android device, a touch device, you'll go to your apps, locate the Live TV app, which is right here in green. And then you'll just hold your finger on it. It will then open up your home screens and you can drop it onto whichever home screen you want. If you're on one of these Android devices, depending on your skin, you'll have to go to this plus sign here, tick the live screen here, and it will appear as your shortcut here. Uh, now, this is where a mouse is going to become extremely handy because you've only got two lists, which is all of them and your favorites and you'll see that very shortly so here are all the channels and we'll just scroll through them here just really quickly so you can see some of them there we go and 
you can see the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Uh, I'm just going to stop here and show you how we don't have to go through all these lists just to see what we want to watch only. So if you look over on the far right hand side of the screen here, there are some stars which are white at the moment. If I were to click, left click, left click, left click those ones and then go to my favourites, they are now here instead. This means I don't have to scroll through all the channels. Now the other way you could do it is, you'll see if I put, um, let's get something else that's high, uh, higher letter than, H, uh, alphabetically higher than H. So we'll put A, oh, right click, antenna, put that there, and then we go back to favourites. You'll see they'll come up in alphabetical order anyway, and from the country that it's going to be coming from. If you don't want it just click here again and it's gone now once you've built your own list here of the languages and the channels that you want to watch all you need to do is left click at once now how this is free is because all of these adverts are within it so you can either right click over the advert or left click so here we go, we open it up, an advert comes, if I right click, it gets rid of it, goes straight into the stream, and if I want to stop it, I right click. And this is where you're also going to need a remote control because, this, uh, sorry, a mouse, because a remote control is just not going to cut it for navigating through this particular app. So there we go guys, um, this was a free app that you can get live streaming TV. Most of the links work and most of the times it's just one link so you're not having to choose between three or four of them. And it would be just a matter of sometimes potluck if it is a high definition or a standard definition. So if you have any other questions leave a comment in the comment section below or head over to my Facebook page which is facebook.com forward slash tech solutions and each word is with a capital in front of it uh, leave me a message there and i'll get back and endeavor to help you as best as i can anyway guys hope you enjoyed that hope this becomes of something uh, really easy to use as a navigation tool as well and we'll see you in the next video thanks guys